Hello and welcome to beautiful Naples, Florida. Um, it's a windy, warm night. Uh, the sun is setting behind me, look at that. Very nice. And uh, I'm here to tell you a story and tell you something uh, I'm having a, a problem with. I'm actually, I'm petrified. I'm worried that I won't be able to get a good photo of this place. Not that it's not completely gorgeous, which it is. But I'm always kind of consumed with like this self-doubt when I arrive at a new location because it's always so beautiful and I really want to, you know, take a nice photo. And I think it probably stems back to when I first got started with photography and I was in these beautiful places and I took a photo and my photo totally sucked. Like it was like the worst photo ever and it really kind of just made me angry even. Not just sad, but even angry. So whenever I arrive at a new location, which I do a lot, you know, since I'm a travel photographer, um, I'm always just consumed with a, a healthy amount of self-doubt. Um, I'm sure everything's gonna come out okay, uh, but I'm gonna spend the next five days trying to get some good photos so you can join me on this journey. So we started out at one Ritz-Carlton over on the beach and then went to the other one in Naples over at this golf course, just father and son time while we played some golf here at the famous Tiburon. We got Ethan a golf coach, good old Corey, and I hope after this lesson he'll be better than his dad. Mm, maybe not. Well, I'm not giving up on you, son. You can do it. Bam. Hey, that was a good shot. Look at that. Golf courses are actually one of my favorite places to take photos. Is, is they have a lot of trees that stand by themselves, right? And sometimes it's really hard to get photos of trees because they're usually around other trees, right? Because trees have uh, seeds and they drop seeds and other trees grow up right beside them. Therefore, trees are all, always surrounded by other trees except at golf courses. The other great thing about golf courses is they have a lot of ponds, like little lakes. So if you get there early in the morning before the wind kicks up, you can get some amazing reflections. So I am still learning quadcopter video and photography, but one thing I do notice from above is that the sun and its angle is especially important. So if there is something you're trying to shoot, uh, be sure to look at the light, see which way the light is hitting it, see where the shadows are, kind of think about how different it would look at a different time of day. All right, I also have two beautiful daughters waiting to spend time with me. Let's go check and see what they want to do. Hey, Scarlett, do you want to go to the beach? Do you want to go to the park? Do you want to go eat ice cream? How about we learn to blow glass? I guess that means yes, let's go. Last year on our round the world trip, we ended up in Venice and Burano where we watched them blow glass. We thought it was so cool. So we jumped at the opportunity to go down here, just poolside, and we got to blow glass ourselves. The kids had a great time. Each of them got to make a bowl. And check it out, dun, dun, dun. All right, so in each of these videos, what I will try to do is give you a few um, photography tips and tricks. Um, you know, something to give you ideas, some inspiration, uh, but also you'll get to see all the other things that kind of go into my life. You know, I'm just a regular dude, really. I try to balance life, try to balance family, um, art, business. Um, it's not always an easy balance, but I, I try my humble best. Um, so you're gonna get a lot of this kind of stuff over these next videos we're gonna be making as we travel around. Uh, Florida and the Caribbean. Look at this sunset. Look at this. Ridiculous. Actually, right now I don't have my tripod, so I'm going to try to do some high ISO stuff. Um, I don't like to do high ISO stuff because it makes it a bit noisy, uh, but I find now... Let me go ahead. I'll just give you a hot tip right now. I'm going to give you a hot tip right now. My hot tip right now is you don't always have to take bracketed shots, okay? you can just take a single raw photo. And let's say that um, your ISO is up to 800, that should be fine, even 1600 should be fine. And just take that single raw photo and jam it either into Photomatix or Aurora, preferably Aurora. And that'll make for a nice clean shot because there's this nice feature 
called uh, ACR Denoise in Aurora. And if that doesn't work for you, you can always pull it into Lightroom later and then use the Adobe Raw Denoise there as well. That will also work. few days into it and I'm still struggling to get a really good photo. You can see this morning is really foggy so I just have to learn to be more patient. Well the sun comes back out again so Ethan and I go out to the beach to check on the girls and while I'm doing that let me tell you a very funny story. Last night we go into this beautiful really nice high-end restaurant okay and the hostess says how many will there be sir? And I said Oh, you see five of us here, but we actually need a table for six because my wife is pregnant. She's got one on her belly. And so Scarlett immediately says, no, my dad is lying. There's only three kids and we weren't in her belly. We all came out of her butt. <laughs> Which made this hostess just bust up laughing. My wife get completely uh, embarrassed. Hey, Ethan, if you meet a, meet a girl on the beach, say, hey, why don't you go back to my cabana? I've got, un, I've got unlimited chips. And uh, we can have some salsa. Good afternoon, I'm going over here to the Rack Lips. Yes, my name is Haley, I'll be assisting you. Hey, Very Haley, nice I'm Trey. You. Nice Hi. to meet you. and your name? Ethan. Very nice to meet you, Ethan. Ethan, this is your chance. Say, hey, why don't you come back to my cabana? <laughs> I've been teaching them how to pick up girls on the beach. Yeah? Yeah, I got all kinds of lines. He's That's, not feeling it? Well, that's okay. He's, he's drinking it all in. Hello, family. What's going on? Look, there's a turtle. Yeah, it's a turtle. Scared the hell out of me. I was just taking off my shoes and then a turtle pecked at my ankles. I was like, what the hell? What, the turtle? Okay, so the light is actually quite good right now, especially for some moody family photos. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just get one. Uh, do not put sand in my pants. Scaro. Um, anything out of the ordinary is nice. Um, and oftentimes when I take photos of people, I like there to be odd numbers of people. Um, you know, like like one, three, and five. Um, odd numbers sometimes just seem more interesting for whatever reason. Okay. Um, another nice thing to think about for beach photography is watching when the water recedes. See how you have this smooth silhouetted reflection? That looks pretty cool. Um, look at these two lovely girls. Aren't they amazing? They're incredible. Um, unfortunately, they're not mine. What am I talking about? I have two little perfect angels. Uh, here we are at Gumbo Limbo, where we're having dinner tonight. Let's go find them. And here we are. Hello, family. Happy family. Whoa. Uh, go ahead and order some food without me. Go for it. You girls are the best. I love you guys. Um, this a new kind of species of lizards. All right, here, talk, talk mine, to the dead cat. Mine was called the party lizard. The dead party lizard. <laughs> what, what does the party lizard do? It can sing death rock and roll songs. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how her brain works. Well, after a lot of hard work and a lot of patience and uh, self-forgiveness, I finally uh, was able to get some shots that I wanted. It always, you know, this always ends up happening. I don't know why, why I doubt myself. Um, uh, it was a little harder than usual, right? I had to go out there and really try to find good stuff and wait for the light and be patient and kind of believe. But as you can see, blue skies always come out again. And uh, yeah, it was great. I got some stuff I'm really proud of. I'm experimenting with a new technique also, that uh, I'll probably talk more about in the next video once I kind of perfect it a little bit more. All right. Okay, our next stop is Fort Lauderdale. <laughs>